My name is Yvonne Laurent. I'm 87 years old. I suffer from macular degeneration and for which I need treatment from, from the NHS. I suddenly lost my vision or my central vision about five years ago. Um, and my hearing also is impaired. My name is Keith Lowry. Um, I'm dual sensory. Um, when I lost my sight, um, over 21 years ago, when it was really, really bad, I had um, basic inflammation and not much have for a very long time. Dual sensory loss is the area which, which we support as Deafblind Cymru. People with dual sensory loss have a range of communication needs depending on the sp specific combination of sight loss and hearing loss. With regards to deaf blindness, there are probably about 20 some thousand deaf blind people in Wales at the moment and it's projected that there will be 30,000 by the year 2030. When, when my sight was uh, really bad, it was extremely difficult. And because I didn't have a telephone or at all, and trying to get to to the surgery and trying to use a payphone, and and trying to get uh, change from the post office for the payphone. Because of my visual problems, I have to have somebody with me, and so she said, "Well, look, sorry, you can't have anyone with you." And I said, "Well, before I had any a chance to say anything, they simply cancelled the appointment." That was one appointment, and there were four others like that. If we look at the point of view of staff and their awareness of, du of dual sensory loss, it's probably quite limited at the moment in most places. Sometimes I, when I make a appointment, I've got to go myself by taxi, and when my name is called over the speaker, there's nobody available to get me to the doctor room. I can hear my name and the doctor room number, but um, there's nobody available to guide me to the room. I am aware of different ways of contacting the surgery, but uh, I can only contact by landmine phone. Apart from that, I can't contact them any other way. They contact me to remind me I got a pint month, and I'm quite happy with that, yes. If the doctors and the reception understand that um, guiding is important for people who do self-use on their own, and also asset by car with small work or taxi is also important because if it's not accessible by taxi it's going to be more difficult to make an appointment on my own. When I went to an ENT appointment with my support worker uh, my name came up on the screen of the monitor but I can't see the, uh, my name on the screen. I, I sometimes a number come up on the screen and I don't know what the number is or if my name come up, so unless I got somebody with me. So that's more important because they need to be um, more um, prepared for ENT appointment uh, patient with um, sight loss or visual impairment. They are not equipped to help the patients that go in there who have got sensory loss. I mean, you go, they are behind the counter. You go up to them and you say, when is my appointment? At such and such time, okay, but uh, I can't see that, I can't see the time. Um, so you wait for your name to be called. Which room have you got to go to? The, the letters are that big. I go it takes you half an hour to find the door. So I don't think that they're equipped to help people with sensory loss because all of this lack of communica communicating with people and getting to and from appointments and being thrown about and you don't really know where you are is delaying your treatment and you're not having the treatment that you should have at the time that you should have it. I think it's absolutely essential that people do communicate their needs unless we tell people what our communication needs are then they're not going to know and the service will remain inaccessible. With the new surgery, the reception is across the road to get my medication from the chemist across the road. So I didn't have to cross the road myself. And they phoned the taxi for me to go home. It made me feel um, better and appreciated as a patient and 
to know they care. I will say to somebody with sensory loss to explain to the NHS staff that they can't see and they can't hear clearly and if the staff can speak clearly and slowly so that so I can so they can understand what's been said and what's going to be done. I think the work that uh NHS is putting in will have a major impact on the quality of life of people with dual sensory loss uh, because it will enable them to access the information that they need, it will enable them to access services. Uh, it's more than just how we communicate, it's how we respond to the people that we are working with.